Uh, first, we give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who is the head of our life. We recognize the fact that we are helpless children without Him, but with Him all things are possible to those that believe. Our job is to have the assurance of knowing that we are saved. And we can only know that by accepting Jesus Christ for our personal Savior. On today, on today, our subject today is everything that need to be done for our salvation. A growth has been already done. Amen. The growth of salvation has already been done when we accept him for our personal Savior. He the one that have opened the doors up for all mankind. It not God will that any would perish. If a man or woman perish, they will perish because of their own unbelief. We have to believe that he is, that he is a reward of the doe that diligently seek him. This scripture that we use in the day, the fourth chapter of Ephesians, uh, this scripture tell us all about eternal and everlasting life. It tell us that everyone who have accepted Jesus Christ for their personal Savior, uh, <laughs> he have already done the work. He had did it right by himself. Again, our subject today, everything that need to be done for our salvation and, and growth have been already done. In substance, Jesus don't have to do anything else for it. Why? <clears throat> because he have already done it. Our job is to accept what he have offered. Well, what have he offered? He have offered eternal and everlasting life. Who is he offered it to? Everybody. Amen. It not God will that any would perish. The work is already done. Our job is to accept it. How do we accept it? By faith. You have to believe that he is, that he is a reward of the those that diligently seek him. And seek, and you shall find, knock at the door, and it shall be opened unto us. Ready to go to the Word of God. Again, let's look at the book of Ephesians. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, and the first verse reads as follows. Therefore the prison of the Lord beseech you that ye were worthy of the vacation wherein you are called. This is Paul writing. Amen. God had given him the uh, spiritual understanding to write the verses. And he, he look at himself as a prison. He look on himself as a prison of the Lord. That means whatever God would tell him to do, that's exactly what he would do. And we have to see ourselves also as a prison, a prison of the Lord. And whatever the Lord tell us to do, we must do it. Amen. With all of our heart, with all of our mind, and with all of our understanding. As we look at this book, let's look at the second verse. Amen. With all loneliness and meekness and long suffering forbear one another in love. This is talking about one group. This is talking about those who have made that confession with the mouth and believed in the heart that it was God raised Jesus from the dead. The Bible said the same shall be saved. So then we have to be amen meek and recognize we have to have some long suffering. And then we must be willing 
to forbear one another in love. We have to love mankind. Amen. Jesus didn't wait until we accept him to love us. The Bible said he loved us when we were yet sinners. And what about us? How do we feel about a sinner? Do we love him or do we hate him? Amen. You had the love of God have been shedded abroad in your heart. Now because of that, we can love those that is a lovable. Amen. Why? Because you have what it takes on the inside. And we're going down to this third verse here. Endeavoring, amen, to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. This is talking about in those who is in the body of Christ, the church, those who have accepted Jesus Christ for our personal Savior. This verse ain't got nothing to do with those who have haven't accepted Jesus Christ for their personal Savior, but it got something to do with those who have said yes to Jesus Christ for their personal Savior. So it led us to know, sister and brother, we need to have the assurance to know that we are saved. I'm not talking about just because I've been baptized. Amen. And I belong to a local assembly. Amen. That don't save me. I'm saved because I accept the offer that Jesus have offered. What have he offered again? He have offered eternal and everlasting life. Amen. Who is he offered to? Everybody. It not his will that any would perish. Amen. And these verses gonna let us to know. Amen. Everything need to be done have already been done. Amen. And all we have to do is accept what he have offered. Let's go on down to the fourth verse here. There one body. Amen. And one spirit. Even as ye are called in the one hope of your calling. Amen. We have been called. We have been called by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as we have called, he has called us. Now he is willing now, amen, to present us with everything need to be done that we may be able to mature and grow in the grace of God. Amen. We ain't who we used to be. Amen. Amen. We the new creation. The Bible tells us all things that passed away and gone. Behold, all things are, are brand new. Amen. Amen. And we can't help but just giving him all the honor and to pray. We can't pat ourselves on the back and say, look at me what I have done. Amen. But we can say, look what the Lord has done. And he did it all right by himself. Talk about none other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. When he died on the cross, hung his head in the lock of his shoulder and said, it is finished. Amen. Amen. What can you add to a finished work? Nothing you can add to it. Everything needs to be done. He have already done it. Let's go on down to this fifth verse here. Amen. The Bible tells us one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Amen. These three items, sister and brother, all three of them, amen, you can't do without these three. You can't do without the Lord. You can't do without faith. And you can't do it without baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He has baptized us. He has saved us. And he has given us the faith, amen, to come to him. And he wants us to come to him just as you are. And you can't fix it. I can't fix it. Nobody can. But Jesus has already fixed it. And all you have to do is accept, amen, his calling. 
the Bible tells us, as we go down to this sixth verse, one God, the Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Who do you he talking about? He talking about those who have confessed with the mouth and believed in the heart that it will God raise Jesus from the dead, the same shall be saved. So this let us to know he ain't talking about everybody. He talking about them who will really put their confidence and faith in the true and the living God. Amen. God is able to do what no other power can do. And we owe him a praise. I owe him a praise. Amen. I can't do nothing without him. But with him, all things are possible to one group. Those that believe. Believe what? The finished work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that you can believe that he said, I give you eternal life. Amen. If I give it to you, he said, you will never perish. Ain't you glad you got something that no one can take over? The devil desire to destroy us. But amen. He don't have a chance. He don't have a chance because Jesus have already stamped that love in our heart. Call us the love. Amen. When people don't love us, we can love them with a true love. The Bible tells us, and we're going down to this seventh verse here, but unto every one of us, who the us he talking about? Those who have accepted Jesus Christ for their person the Savior. Amen. Every one of us, amen, is given the grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. This is dealing with those who have said yes to Jesus Christ. Uh, those who have made Jesus their choice. Uh, amen. They're on their way somewhere. And ain't nothing nobody can do about it. I'm glad one day I recognized that I was a rake undone. And I made Jesus my choice. Uh, amen. Because of that, I can stand here today and tell you, amen, I'm saved. I'm saved. Why? Because of the finished work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because he did it all right by himself. Amen. As we go on down to this eighth verse here, amen. Wherefore he said, talking about none other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at this particular time. He said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts into men. He's already done it. Amen. And not anything that he need to do, he has already done it. And all we have to do is accept what he has offered. Who is he offered to? Everybody. Amen. How you know that? The Bible tells us it's not God's will that any would perish. If one perish, he'll perish because of his own unbelief. We have to believe that he is, that he is a reward of those that diligently seek him. The Bible tells us, seek and you shall find. Mm -hmm. Knock at the door and it shall be opened into us. Amen. The Bible tells us, as we go on down to this ninth verse here, now that he ascended, Talking about none other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower part of the earth. Amen. Jesus, amen, have already done the work. Our sister and brother, we can say, we can't say, amen, he will do it. Because he's already done it. Amen. And all you got to do is have faith to accept what he has offered. He has offered everything that needs to be done. Now, he is offered to those who would accept him for their personal Savior. And we're going down to this 10th verse here. For, amen, the 10th verse, amen. He that descended 
Amen. Talk about none other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is same also that ascended far above all heaven, that he might feel all things. Amen. So in everything need to be done have been already fulfilled. Who fulfilled them? None other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then what we ought to do? We ought to tell him thank you. Amen. We ought to tell him thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for who you are, the Savior of the world. Amen. Everything need to be done. He has already done it. All we have to do is accept the offer. Amen. The Bible tells us, and we're going down to this 11th verse here, and he gave some, this talking about for the body of Christ, the church, ain't talking about from the four gospel books, ain't talking about from the Old Testament scriptures, but this is dealing with the church, the body of Christ. The Bible tells us, amen, he gave some apostles, and he gave some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Amen. Why did he give those gifts to the body of Christ? Amen. Amen. It spelled it out. This late verse, this script verse, spelled it out. For the affection of the saint, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, for the building up the body of Christ. This is why he gave those five ministry gift to the age of the church, which is the body of Christ, because he wanted us to mature and grow in the grace of God. How you know that, Atkin? Because the 13th verse tells us this. Amen. Till we all, talking about the Christian now, those who have accepted Jesus Christ for their personal Savior, they all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. And to a perfect man, talk about a mature man, a woman. Amen. And to the measure of the staff, amen, of the fullness of Christ. Everything we need, amen, he have already supplied it. And all we have to do is accept the offer of eternal life. Amen. Then he said, I give you eternal life. And he said, when I give it to you, you will never perish. Amen. You, you can't get no better than that. Amen. He said, you will never perish. Amen. If you accept him for your personal Savior. And we're going down to this 14th verse that we, we who, those who have accept Jesus Christ for their personal Savior, amen, we hit for be no more children, amen, tossed it to and fro and cared about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and the cunning craft, thereby they lie in wait to do what? To the deceived. Amen. We have what it takes. We have it. Amen. He He's already done offering. And we now, sister and brother, know for sure. Amen. I can't stand here or uh, sit here today and say, I might make it. Oh, no. Amen. I know I can make it. Why? I know whom I believe. Amen. And I have made that confession with my mouth and believed in my heart that it will God raise Jesus from the dead, the same shall be saved. Then he said, I give it to you. Amen. He give us eternal life. We ought to tell him thank you. We ought to tell him thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for who you are, the Savior of the world. The Bible tell us as a believer everything that need to be done, he has already done it. Amen. He has already fixed it. So as we go down to this 
15th verse telling us how we supposed to, amen, grow up in the grace of God, but speak the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things that is the head, even Christ. Amen. He have already did the work, sister and brother, so let us put all of our confidence and trust in him. Somebody said, lean on him when you're not strong. Amen. If we're going to lean on him when we're not strong, we're going to continue to lean on him. He is our everything. Let's go on down to this 16th verse. From whom the whole body fitly, talking about the body of Christ now, fitly joint together and compact by that which every joint supplies Amen. According to the effection working in the measure of every part. Amen. Making increase in the body and to the edifying of itself in love. Edifying. Building us up. Amen. We have what it take on the inside. We have the ingrained Holy Spirit. To build us up that we may be able to love, amen, in spite of. You ought to love peoples because what have happened to you, what God has given us, sister and brother, we have it on the inside. Call us to love those that spiteful misuse us. Amen. The Bible tells us as we move on down to this 17th verse here. Amen. This I said therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye hitful walk not as other Gentiles. Amen. What about them other Gentiles? Talk about those Gentiles who haven't accepted Jesus Christ for their personal Savior. You don't walk like you used to walk. Why? Because you the new creation. Amen. And how do how we used to walk? Amen. These Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Amen. That's where all of us come from. But now we're the new creation. Amen. We ought to tell him thank you for it. Amen. I don't know about you, but I owe him a praise. Amen. Amen. It's all about him. I can't say, hey, yes, but, no. Amen. I, what, I, what you can do, I can, I can take him at his word. He is able to do everything he promised to do. And we going down to this 18th verse, the Bible tells us, amen, having the understanding darkness. Who are you talking about? Those, amen, Gentiles who walk in the vanity of their mind. Amen. Being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness in their heart. Amen. You know, sister and brother, the blindness have been in all of our heart. They're talking about before we accept Jesus Christ for our personal Savior. Amen. That's where all of us come from. But now we the new creation. Amen. Old things that passed away and gone. Behold, all things are brand new. The Bible tells us, and we're going down to this 19th verse here, who being past feeling. Amen. Talking about that group that haven't accepted Jesus Christ and won't accept him. Amen. Who have past feeling have been given themselves over unto the sinfulness to work all their uncleanness. Amen. We're greediness. Amen. That's where all of us come from. Amen. But God has made a change in our lives. Amen. Everyone who has believed the finished work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that group. Amen. But ye have not so learned Christ. Amen. Amen. Sister and brother, you can only learn him when you accept him for your personal Savior. Amen. The Bible tells us, Amen. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him 
as the truth is in Jesus, in none other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us, as we go down to this 22nd verse here, that you put off concerning the former conversation. Amen. Our lifestyle ought to be changed. Why? Because we the new creature. Amen. The way we used to talk. Amen. The conversation that we used to have. Amen. We don't have that no more. I hope we recognize that fact. Let me go back over that verse again. Amen. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, the desires of the flesh. Amen. That's where all of us come from. Amen. But now we the new creation. The Bible tells us what we make sure that we have done. He tells us, Amen, and be renewed. Amen. Talk about renewed. Amen. And the spirit of your mind. Amen. We ain't who we used to be. We the new creation. Old thing that we already said, past and gone, behold all things are uh, brand new. The Bible tell us, as we go on down this 24th verse here, and that you put on the new man. Amen. Amen. You put on the new man when? The moment that you accept Jesus Christ for your personal Savior, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Amen, sisters and brothers. All of this I'm talking about, no man, no woman, no boy, no girl were born with this righteousness of God and this holiness of God. We is a brand new creature. The Bible tells us as we go on down to this 25th verse here, amen. Wherefore, put away. Amen, because who we are, we the new creation. Now he said, put away lying and speaking. Every man, amen, truth. Telling the truth, not lying. Amen, with his neighbor. For we are members of one another. Amen. That means we are members to all Christians. Amen. Our sister and brother who is in the body of Christ, all of us is sisters and brothers. Amen. And we ought to love them. We ought to love them with all of our heart, all of our mind, and with all of our understanding. He tell us, amen, when we have received the things of God, look what the Bible tell us, amen. Uh, be ye angry. Talk about the believer here now. Amen. Be ye angry. And at the same time, sin not. Oh, I hope we see these truths. According to the scripture. He said, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Talk about those who have said yes to Jesus Christ for their personal Savior. God is good, and the mercy endures forever. Then he tell us what to do, what we need to do. He said, neither give place to the devil. The devil is seeking whom he may devour. Amen. But our job is not to give him no place, no place for the devil. They're telling us now what we used to do. Amen. This 28 verse telling us what we used to do. The Bible tells us, let him that stole steal no more. Amen. All of us come from that same mold. Amen. But rather let him labor, working, amen, with his hand and the thing which is good. Talk about those who have said yes to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Amen. We look at 
things and look at people that were for need. Amen. We ought to be willing to share and to give to help somebody else along the way. Amen. God have opened the door for us that we are capable of being able to be a blessing to others. Amen. The Bible tell us, amen, talk about how let certain thing that we are not to be caught up in. He tell us, amen, and I look at this 29th verse, let no corrupt communication proceed out of our mouth. Amen. But that which is good to the using of edifying. That means building up. We build up one another, sister and brother, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. <clears throat> the Lord desires to be a blessing to the hearers. Amen. Those who you can come in contact with. Amen. You ought to be able to be a blessing to them. And they're also telling us what we shouldn't do. Amen. This third verse here telling us what we as believers shouldn't do. This third verse read like this. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Talk about us. You mean to tell me after we can grieve the Holy Spirit? So said the book. Amen. You need to take God at his word. If he said it, I believe it. Amen. I believe it with all my heart, all my mind, with all my understanding. He is able to do what no other power can do. Amen. Whereby ye are sealed. Amen. We are sealed until the day of redemption. We will see you. When will we see you? We will see you the moment that we made Jesus our choice. When we accept him for our personal Savior. Amen. So now we isn't who we used to be. The Bible tells us as a believer, and it's talking to believers here, he said, let all bitterness. Amen. Talking about the way we used to be. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and common, amen, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Amen. Telling us, amen, how we you ought to be now and how we were before. Amen. And the Bible also tell us, amen, and be ye kind one to another. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, have forgive you. Amen. We all not to walk around mad with people about what they did. Amen. Because we all have done some things. Amen. All we have to do is look back at our own selves. There are some things that all of us have, amen, have done. But what the Lord have done about it? When we accept him, he stole our sin and the sea of forgiveness. And he said, Amen, it won't come before you in this world, neither the world to come. Well, if he done that for me, had I ought to be willing to forgive them. Amen. But we want to say sometimes, well, they won't forgive me. Don't you worry about that. Amen. Don't you worry about that. God forgive you. So you is free. Amen. You want to be free. You want to be free? Then, amen, love people that spite for misuse you. Don't you think everybody going to love you? Amen. But how about you? You ought to love everybody now. Why? Because you're the new creation. Amen. He has given you eternal life. And when he give it to you, amen, he said you will never perish. You going somewhere. You going to glory. Amen. Why? Because whom you have believed. Whom you have believed is none other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
You have took him as a word, and he has set you free. And those who he has set free, you free indeed. Then you ought to tell him something. Amen. Don't walk around with mad because everybody is mad. Amen. You see people mad. Amen. Sister and brother, you have something on the inside of you called us to have joy and peace in the midst of the storms, in the midst of what others would think of you. Amen. Amen. They did everything they could to Jesus Christ. They even killed him, and yet he loved them. Amen. And now what do we have? We have that same amen Will it take on the inside love. Amen. We have that same love. He has shed his love abroad in our heart. And that calls us to love those that spiteful misuse you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you for your grace and thank you for your mercy. God bless you. God bless you. Don't clock on the wall. Don't clock on the wall. And then I can know time for me to get out of here. But if you have enjoyed this radio program, give me a radio program. Amen. Just Let me just say this, this today. Amen and amen. God bless you. Um.